Hello! The frame that I'm choosing to talk about in this video is information creation as a process. So the artifact that I chose to use to talk about this frame was a blog post and it was titled Christmas Bobbles Quilt by Jen Daly and it was published June 8th, 2015 and there's a link to uh, the article on the screen there. And this was a informative and uh, instructional article. So it was giving some instructions. So this frame is all about the process of creating the information all the way from writing it down all the way to publishing it. And so the process for this article in particular was write the article take photos, edit, and publish. So that's the four parts that we're going to talk about more in depth here for this frame. So first, uh, the author wrote a rough draft of the article. Um, and the purpose of the article was in to inform and instruct. And in order to do this, she had to determine the steps that needed to be taken to complete this task that she was instructing on. In this case, it was um, creating a quilt. And uh, then she had to use, uh, in her writing, technical uh, terminology and measurements to be precise. Now, the next step that the author of this particular blog post had to take is not the most common step for uh, writing, uh, even in articles and blog posts, but she had to take photos um, for this step because it was part of her um, information creation. Um, she had to create a plan for uh, each photo for each step that it corresponded to, and then she had to stage the individual photo and then shoot the actual photo. So there are a lot of different steps within each step of this process. Now the third step of her information creation was to edit. Now this kind of uh, overlaps with the photos part because she had to maybe edit as she was taking photos. She had to add or remove steps of her instructions while staging her photos as she was actually doing the project in order to take the photos to demonstrate things visually. And then she had to, of course, add the photos to the writing in the, in the correct spots. And then she had to do the normal checking for spelling and grammatical errors, that kind of thing. And the final step that she had to take was to publish her article on the website. So this um, blog post gave a lot of opportunity to think about how the author had to go about creating this information because it, it's not like she could just make things up. She had to actually think about how would somebody need to go about doing this to piece the quilt top together and to bind the quilt and all of that. She had to think about it and then write down the steps in the correct order. And then she had to think about, okay, what photos should go with these steps to help visualize for the reader how this should look. And then she had to think about editing, and then she had to, of course, publish. So that is how this particular resource artifact um, demonstrates this frame. Uh, that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching.